Hi, Mark, the Tech Lover here. So, final day of releases, Aurac for Eurorack. Like the others, I just want to, have to do a quick video. Uh, once it's going to show you how to install it, etc. But before I do that, just a quick idea about, well, why did I do Aurac for Eurorack at all? Um, first of all, it feels like it's not a, a natural combination because Eurorack is all about hands-on control. It's about being able to get in there with cables and CV and do stuff. But I still think there's actually a very good place for uh, digital modules and uh, like a virtual modular within it. Now the trick is, and what I've concentrated quite hard on with ORAC, is that you want to really be doing it in two stages. The first stage is, yeah, you need to be able to create the rack. Um, and when you, you want to do that and you want to do it on the computer and then you just want to save it. And you then don't want to, when you're playing with the modular, actually have to use your phone or computer. And that's the key design aim behind ORAC is that it's completely standalone when you want to just play with it. You'll be able to switch through presets, you'll be able to control everything via CV that you've set up. You'll just be able to treat it as if it was another module. And that's key. Um, it supports CV control, it supports MIDI control, so you can integrate it with things. Um, I think it's an exciting thing to do. And what's very interesting is that because ORAC is, um, has its modules in pure data, we can also create specialized modules for uh, modular environments. Um, I will say also that um, I'm going to be supporting uh, ORAC on Bella natively. So that's actually going to give us an, an avenue for putting out, um, uh, accessing five volt systems like the AE modular. Um, so that more on that later. Um, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, there's two uh, releases just because it's what I have. Um, the Bella Salt um, and the Qubit Nebulae. Uh, the Bella Salt, um, <laughs> very limited, you'll be lucky to get hold of one, but has the advantage that it has uh, CV out as well as CV in. Um, uh, disadvantage, it's nowhere near as powerful. Um, but it's quite interesting. I'm thinking what I might do with ORAC as well is actually have a simplified uh, version of it to sit alongside a, an ORAC light or something, uh, which is just set up to have kind of dedicated modules. Um, then we've got the Qubit Nebulae. Um, it's based on a Raspberry Pi, so it's got loads of power. I say no CV out, which is a bit of a pity, but. Um, Obviously, you've got loads of CV, power, CV into it. Um, you've got audio in, you've got audio out. So plenty of possibilities for creating synths, controlling FX, etc. So that's a, it's a really exciting platform for uh, installing ORAC on Salt. So I assume that you've got the download from the video links below. Uh, this, this same process is true for Bella as well, by the way. So we'll just decompress it here. Get rid of this, this file. Then I, I'm going to transfer it using the command line, but you can use um, other tools if you want. Uh, okay, so we're up here. Then I'm going to just, uh, so I'm just going to SCP it to my salt box. Then I'm going to just SSH into the salt box so I can actually install it. Um, then it's simply apt install uh, dot slash star dot deb. And then you'll see it'll start going off installing it All very straightforward stuff so what this will do is this will um, now start to run um, mech automatically um, on startup um, and it will uh, give you a new Bella project um, which we can see here now called ORAC which you can, as normal, basically have this uh, start as um, a default project or whatever. Um, if you want to, you can uh, always make it so that uh, mech is not enabled by just doing disable mech. That will mean it won't be booting on startup. And if you do enable, it will start booting again. Um, you can actually see that it's installed here because you'll actually see these two, this directory data and media. Uh, the data, for example, 
uh, just has the presets in it and the media file has samples. So if you want to add new samples, you can, you can add them into here. going to show you how to install Aurec on the Nebula. Okay, so I assume that you've downloaded the files from Patch Storage, as in the video's links below, and that you've also mounted your USB stick into your computer. So the first thing we're going to do is actually come into and decompress the zip file that we've got, um, and then we don't need the zip file anymore. If we open this up, we can now see we've got actually a number of instrument files which we're going to see what we use for. First one is MEC which is for uh, the remote interface. This package installer, we need to install some extra software um, that is part of ORAC um, and we're going to need to use an instrument to do that. And then thirdly we've got something to turn the Wi-Fi on and off. Um, now the, we've got some readme files which explain this and then the wavelan zero dot Wi-Fi. This actually has um, the details of your Wi-Fi network in it, or will do when you edit them. So you need to add your Wi-Fi name here and your Wi-Fi password here. I've already done that, um, so I'm just going to copy that over. Okay, um, now um, what I like to do is to rename the instruments so that I know what slot they're in. So we know that we've got the instruments in uh, the user bank, so I'm going to just rename those to put a prefix on the front. Uh, you can use whatever you want, obviously. And I'm going to also get, tell ORAC that it's in slot A of the pure data bank. Okay, so now we're ready. All we now need to do is to just copy these now directly onto the, the USB stick. And that's that really. Now we can eject the USB stick and then insert that into the Nebulae. And then what I'm going to do is to uh, reboot the rack so it just picks all of those all up. Okay, so you can see now that I've inserted the USB stick um, and I'm going to boot Nebulae. Um, it's going to do its normal things of copying stuff across. Um, so it'll take a little while. Okay, so the Nebula is now started. Now we've got one final bit for installation, and that is to run the package installer. You'll remember that I put it into user bank, and I put it on the second slot, so I'll run that. Okay, and now you just need to let it run. Uh, once we get the lights back, then we know it's done. Uh, once you've done the package installation, you can actually remove that from your USB stick um, and whatever, you don't need it again, um, unless you need to reinstall. Okay, so that's now done. Now, now ORAC is ready to run. Everything's installed. We can remove the USB stick or not as, as we wish, that's fine. Um, if you just want to use ORAC now, all you need to do is to basically go and run it on the pure data side. However, if you want to do some remote editing, like we're going to do, um, you need to start MEC first. So. Mech, it's on the user bank, and you'll remember I called it A, so it's on the first one, so we select that. Okay, and that starts it. That's it, it's done. Um, now, uh, if you're not doing remote editing, you don't need to do that. Now we actually want to use ORAC itself. And ORAC is a pure data patch, so it's on the pure data bank. Again, select the first one or wherever you've put it. Click on it. And that's it, it's running. Um, a quick thing to mention, so um, we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to do MIDI mapping and modulation learn. Um, but the other thing to note is that the file button has a special use. Um, the file is being used to load other presets and it will cycle through the presets you've saved. Um, and then the other thing to note is that reset is being used for uh, note on, for the gate and volt per octave is usually being used for pitch if you use the note CV in.
Um, so let's have a look at modulation and MIDI mapping.